How do temperature and humidity control affect clean room operation costs? One of the things you have to be careful of, as, as the same as the classification is, on your temperature and humidity, you need to be careful specifying them at too low or too tight a tolerance. Because that translates again into cost of construction and cost of operating. As an example is, rel or humidity is relative. It's relative to the temperature it's at. If you were to set your temperature at 70 degrees and 50% relative humidity, at 68 degrees, that would be 55% relative humidity. So the difference of those two degrees would translate into you having to dry that air to get it to a lower moisture content and that costs significant money. When you're trying to control humidity to a very tight tolerance, you have the issue of you've got to drive your, chilled, your water cost down or your chilled water down so that you can extract moisture from the environment, but that translates into larger chiller. Oftentimes, because if you try to get it too low, you have to what they call derate a chiller, which is you have to put glycol in that system in order to have the system be able to flow water at a lower temperature or the water closer to freezing. So when you add glycol to it, you take the ability for that chiller to transfer heat and you reduce that ability. So in an example, if you have a 15% glycol mix in your chiller, that takes a chiller that could be 100 tons of cooling and you'll only get effectively 70 tons out of it. So uh, oftentimes clients make a decision to drive to lower temperatures or lower humidities without clearly understanding what that costs them in terms of upfront cost and operational cost.